Okay, this video is going to show you how to prepare models for your Envision Tech machine. You can see here um, I'm working with a 3DM, so I need to ex uh, convert this to an STL. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to delete my stones because I don't want to print. You'll have wax stones if you don't delete them. Okay, so we'll delete them. We'll select our parts. We're going to go to export and I've got a folder here called start to finish and I've already got it selected as an STL so let's call this oops hang on a second just click let's call this ring 5 and I'm gonna go ahead and press enter and these are numbers that we have done a lot of tests on and this is going to give you a really nice smooth model so if you got Rhino or Matrix make sure that you convert it over to these numbers we'll go ahead and hit OK and then we're going to choose binary okay that's it that's all we have to do to convert it as an STL so now we're going to hop into Magix and Magix, the pr uh, purpose of Magix is this um, software will check to make sure that your model, if your model is valid, if it's not, it's going to repair it, and it'll also add supports. So let's go File, Import Part. I'm going to choose Ring 5 and hit Open. And there it is. So there's three things we're going to do in, in Magix. Number one, we're going to go to the Fix tool and you can see here that I don't have any naked edges but I've got intersecting pieces which with Envision Tech it doesn't really care if you've got intersecting pieces some other um, printers really do care in that you have to make sure you're down to one shell so let's just go ahead and click on follow advice there's an automatic fixing button we'll click on that and we'll just see if Magix can fix that let's go back and you can see here so it fixed these guys here but I still have two left so at this point that's the head and the shank I could I could just say okay we're done you know Envision Tech's going to be able to handle that but let's just give Magix one more try at it let's go back to follow advice let's go click on automatic fixing and we're okay and if I go back to follow advice we got the check mark so we'll close it out so we fixed it next thing we want to do is we want to move it because we don't want well, well we get a quarter of a ring here so we, we have to move it so here's our translate uh, we've got a we've got a button here that will uh, the default position is 1 1 and 4 we'll hit OK so there it is raised up in outer space because remember your models are going to hang upside down and print this way so we need to um, raise it up so that we can get some supports underneath this guy here okay so at this point in time we'll go to file and we're gonna save this because we've relocated it into a new location so we'll save it it does remember what folder I was in and it remembers what name so we'll hit save we're gonna just replace it we'll just copy right over top of it there we go and now we're gonna go to generate supports and so Magix is going to look at this and decide, oh, okay. So these are, this is what I'm recommending as far as support. Now, I've printed a lot of rings about this size, and I know from experience that I really don't need the supports in the middle here. And the support on the bottom here, this is a line support. And in class, we, we can talk more about this. But it may be too thin to support this. Um, ring here so over here in our support list it is a line but I can come down here to our type and change it to a block and there we go we got a block and then if I come down to the next block this one I, I don't need so I can just choose none and uh, I'm not gonna carry on through all of this actually there's another part in the program here where there is many um, support that it's recommending so I'm just going to go from two um, and in this tool here we'll delete a range so there we go 
from 2 to 52. We'll hit OK. And there we go. And that's it. That's all we need to do in Magix, except go File, Export the Support, so we need to save those. It's going to remember that folder that I was in, and it's going to remember it's 90, uh, Ring 5, and it's going to add, it's changing it to a support um, file and again an STL. We'll hit OK. And uh, so now we'll go to the next software program which is called Perfactory and this is going to lay it out for us. So if we go File, New Platform and you can click from uh, an arrow, the arrow down here if you've got multiple materials from Envision Tech, you can just choose the material that you want to print with. We'll hit OK. And let's just try to give ourselves a little bit more real estate here. So there, here's our build platform on the high res. We'll go File, Open and Add. And I've got, I've generated a few of, a few rings here. So we'll just grab these guys and we'll hit open and OK and it's going to load these guys on and it's going to stack them all down here in this corner so there's a button here called uh, well it's the automatic layout my quick tip's not working so let's click on that and we want them spaced out a millimeter apart we'll hit OK and there you go so and if you wanted to add more you could, um, let's just highlight a few of those guys, or actually, you know what, I want these guys here. And here's how you can add more, so we'll go edit, copy, if it's the same rings that you want to use. I could have went back in and file and added more, um, different designs if I wanted to. I'll choose one ring, and here's how you move it yourself, so if we go into the transform we can just go ahead and drag this guy and then deselect that guy and then we'll go to the other one which is hang on here there we are um, we'll go back to the move or transform and you can rotate by just right clicking and then I'll just left click and move it out of its way and then if you want to tip it up and then just double check to make sure that no parts are touching that looks good we've got the supports underneath zoom in if you like we'll center it so now all I'm going to do is select this and I'm going to go file build you can make a new folder so if I go to desktop we'll make a new folder let's call this um, uh, ring test and you can go ahead and hit OK and then it'll start building all the images for you okay so that's the end of this video here and then we'll do another one to show you how to operate the machine